Press it down. Hopefully everything should work. Press it down. It should go back to the start game. Press, keep on pressing down. It should loop between those. We'll press up. Start game. If we press up, exit. So that's taken care of inside of the menu screen. So now let's see what happens when we press enter. Play game screen is now active. You can add functionality to the play screen. Currently, we cannot do anything past here, so done. Now let's try exit. Nothing happens after exit. And the reason is because in the screen manager version 2, I've added functionality where if there is no screens inside of the screen list, it'll exit. So you can add that here if screens dot count is equal to zero this dot game dot exit. So if we press exit, the game will now close. So that's added to the screen manager instead of the update screen. You can change that and add it to or the menu screen. You can change that and add it to the menu screen if you want, but I like to leave it in the screen manager. So this tutorial is probably the longest one I've ever done. And it was a lot longer than I was anticipating. But hopefully you enjoyed it, and I know there's a lot of complex stuff discussed here, but the thing you need to worry about is the incrementing and decrement, decrementing of the selected entry, and what happens when we cancel and select it. You do not have to worry about the acceleration or the pulsating if you do not want that functionality. If you do not, just delete those and set the scale to 1 and then just remove this the whole if statement here for that now one thing you might notice is what happened to the menu system let's go back and select the game now if the earlier tutorial we discussed a way to pause the game I showed you the screen system and in the screen manager you will see a if if game that is active if it's not active it'll give you a pause functionality to where the update method is not selected so when we deactivate the game which means we select a different window of focus you will see the menu system fade down it'll just jump down and if you like that effect great if you don't there's an easy way to fix it We're going to go inside the draw method and create a new vector 2. And we're going to call that menu position. And that's going to be a new vector 2. And we're going to pass it to position.x and position.y. Now when, the, when we do the for loop, we pass it the menu position instead of position. And when we increment, we increment the menu position dot y instead of just position. So now everything looks like it should, but let's select a different window. Now the menu system stays there and the bubble system bubble effect is still active. You can remove that if you want, but I like that effect. So that's it for the menu system. I might as well just end this tutorial here. It's probably been an hour long. So, hope to see you next time. The next tutorial we'll discuss is the advanced screen system. That'll be like a 10 minute tutorial. So, hope to see you next time.